check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Hey, Captains. So today I wanted to show you guys some sketches that I have created. I wanted to introduce this new series to y'all. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a different perspective of me and my creativeness. As you guys know that I was a high school dance director for a marching band and also I was on Gone to Light and I was captain. So we had to, you know, design uniforms. So it's just something that I kind of just picked up over the years and stuff that I just really, really wanted to create. I did want to get into actually making uniforms and learning how to sew. That's a different story for a different day, okay? Right now, we're just putting it on paper just so you can kind of see where I'm going with this. These uniforms come from inspiration of one of my pieces that Golden Delight actually wore in 2016. I will show you guys a picture of it. I designed this uniform um, my captain year and we ended up wearing it for homecoming. <laughs> and it's still in circulation today, which I'm so happy about. But pretty much I use that as inspiration because it is my work. So I kind of wanted to start off with something, you know, inspired by me. This time, this I'm going to show you guys two uniforms, okay? For this one, it's going to be a high cut, a high cut leotard, okay? And I chose purple instead of pink because, you know, purple is kind of like the opposite of pink. And I wanted to give that real fierceness that, I don't know, that, that sexiness to the uniform, okay? So, and I accented it with silver. So that silver lining right there that you see, it could be sequin, it could be just fabric, and then the purple can also be, you know, either fabric or sequin that I just um, put in right there with a choker, okay? A, ch a purple choker right there. Okay, as far as the cutout, um, I lined that with the silver fabric or the silver color that you see that I just did right there. I kind of just lined it up with the silver just to give it more of an accent detail. And now I'm just coloring my girl in, okay? Cause we are melanated queens over here. You need to add some color males, all right? So that's what I'm doing. You know, my baby is bald and beautiful. My model is bald and beautiful, okay? She don't need no hair. <laughs> So I'm gonna color her in, you know, give her that gorgeous melanated skin. And just so you can see the contrast of the uniform. Now, at first I really did not like this guys. I really didn't, I was really second guessing it, but my husband said, I really like that. So what I did was I went in and added a scarf to it, um, just to go off the shoulder, kind of give it a little bit more oomph. And I wanted it to be a purple scarf, like a purple, um, that mesh material type of scarf that really flowy satin or whatever yes i want it to be nice and see-through okay but guys let me show you part two my second uniform choice okay so like i said this is inspiration from my capri pants um uniform and i took away the gloves for both for both um copies of this and I made armbands instead, and I kind of wanted to be asymmetrical, so one can go up the arm and one could be on the wrist. Now that could be either sequin or just fabric, just depending on what the squad would want. And I added a cutout in the middle, okay? You can fill that in with mesh, or it can just be regular skin. It just depends on your squad, which I want to expose, <laughs> which I want to put out there, okay? And you see the little dots <laughs> that is around the diamond? Those are rhinestones. That is just the way how I indicate that's where I want rhinestones to go. I lined it off with pink, okay? Instead of doing a pink uniform, I wanted to accent it with pink this time around. So I'm just um, accenting all the trimmings of the uniform where I kind of wanted it to be accented. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in with blue. I thought blue would be a great, great accent for this uniform. Um, give it a different feel, a brighter feel. Even though the pink was popping, it was very neon, very popping. <laughs> 
but I just wanted to give it something different. I think pink and blue works. And guys, just so you know, uniforms work by uh, fabric. So you wanna choose the perfect fabric to really bring that uniform to life. Like sketches, it's only just like the preliminary, the rough draft of it. It is the fabric choices that you use. You can use that shiny material. You can use the iridescent material. You can use a matte material. It just depends on how you want that uniform to come across once it's on the body. Fabric is an important decision when it comes to uniform making. girl in you know we gotta give her that skin pop that skin glow she is a melanated queen out here okay <laughs> and this one is still bald and beautiful okay all my girls gonna be bald and beautiful okay <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that <laughs> yes <laughs> one I decided that I want to add just a little bit more to make this uniform really really pop so I added rhinestones also I added some some gold accents I know it's going to look orange and appear orange on on the paper uh, but it is supposed to be gold okay um, but it's like gonna be like gold trimming via this fabric sequin whatever the squad decides um, yeah I just thought that would make the uniform pop a little bit more just to give it some more Oh. <laughs> will see that I kind of kept the same concept of my original design I really wanted to um, keep that back exposed so I did use the crisscross um, design in the back then the lining for the bottom will be gold instead of pink just to give that different accent <music> Let me know how you like this content. If you want more, just let me know. Comment down below. Give the video a huge, huge, huge thumbs up if you truly, truly liked it. And yeah, Catherine, that is all that I have for you today. And that is what on period. And I'm out. Bye, Catherine.